In this video, we'll be going over three sum closes. So given an array nums of n integers and an integer target, find three integers and nums such that sum is closest to target. Return the sum of the three integers. You may assume that each input ha would have exactly one solution. So now for example, we have negative one, two, one, and negative four, and our target is equal to one. And the closest sum is equal to two with the three numbers, negative one, two, and one. So let's go through the thought process. So the, the brute force approach, will be to perform three nested loops or three nested for loops to find the closest sum or to find the, the triplets to find the triplets with the closest sum. This approach will cause us of n squared time complexity because of the for loop. So in order to optimize our approach, in order to optimize our solution, we will need to sort the input array in ascending order. Then for each of the elements at index i, we can implement a two-pointer approach to find our other two elements. This approach will allow us to reduce the time complexity to O of n squared. Now let's go over a pseudocode. So we're gonna create the following variables. So it's on the min diff, which is the minimum difference, initially at integer.max value and also the results, which is the resulting sum. So initially negative one, because we have yet to found it. And then we're gonna sort the input array in ascending order. Then we're gonna iterate through the indices of nums from zero to nums.length minus three, because we want to have at least three elements. So we're going to denote this as i, denote it as i, index i. Now if i is not equal to zero and the previous elements is equal to the current elements, we will want to skip the current elements because we, we should not be accounting for it twice. If we already checked nums, if we already checked the same element from before. So we're going to increment i, and then continue to next iteration. Oh, we can just continue it to next iteration because we're going to do a for loop. Then we're going to create two variables to be to implement our two pointer approach. J the current left pointer, so initially i plus one, and k the right pointer initially at the, at the last index numbers are like minus one, and then while i is less than k we will want to find the sum of the triplets. So I'll find the sum. So we have sum is equal to nums i plus nums j plus nums k. Then find the difference. Find the difference between the sum, the current sum and the, and the target sum. Find the difference sum, find, uh, find the difference between sum and target. So we get diff equals to absolute value of sum minus target. The target is just the input target. Now, if difference is smaller than min difference, then we have a new resulting sum. We're gonna set min difference to the current difference and then update the sum or the results to the current sum. Now we have to move up now we have to move our pointers. So if our current sum, or if our current difference, or actually if our current sum is less than target, we want to increase our sum. So we're going to increment j, else we want to de decrease our sum. So we're going to decrement k. Then we can return the result. Now let's go over the time and space complexity. So for the, oh wait, do we sort? Yeah, we did sort, okay, good. 
time complexity is go to all of n log n plus all of n square let's go to all of n square where n is the length of the input array all of n log n that's for sorting and then all of n square that's for nested for loop or actually not nested for loop iterates plus two pointer now our space complexity is equal to all of one now let's go over the code. So we're going to first create our to two variables. Our minimum difference is integer.max value and our results, which will initially be negative one. And then we're going to sort the input array in something order. And we're going to iterate through the indices. Make sure to keep, uh, keep space for, uh, leave space for two more elements. And if the current elements, if i is not equal to zero, and the current elements is equal to the previous elements. We can just skip the current elements. Last one, then we can just continue. Now we're gonna implement our two pointer. So int j is i plus one, and k is equal to at the end of the array. And then while uh, j is less than k, we're gonna find the sum of the current triplets. Numbers i plus numbers j plus numbers k. Then we're going to find the difference. So in difference is go to absolute value of the current sum minus the target. If the current difference is less than the minimum difference, we want to update our minimum difference and also update our results. And our results is go to the current sum. And if the current sum is less than the target, we want to increase our sum. So we're going to increase j. Else we want to decrease our sum, we're going to decrement k, and we can return the results. Let me know if you, if you have any questions in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe button if you, if you would like more content that will help you pass the technical interview. I upload videos every day, and if there are any topics you want me to cover on my channel, let me know in the comment section below.